Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lag on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the multiple cat blocks and also how to catch all the exceptions in C++. So here in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to build the try block first. So it's going to be try and here we're not going to have any statements because, you know, if we use that uh, divide by zero again and again, it's boring. So I'm not gonna use any statements here, you know, just gonna, we're just gonna throw some exceptions. So for the demonstration purpose, it's enough. All right, then we need to use a cat block. All right, now in this try block, what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw an exception. For example, let's say throw, and uh, we can pass string here, and let's say some exception. So here, you know, this string is, uh, character type that's why we're gonna specify the type here if you want to get this expression so it's gonna be const and then char and we're gonna use the pointer so let's say err -R. all right you know this is the cat block where the control will be transferred when this statement will be executed so here just say err -R, just print the values and uh, we're gonna end this line all right now we have only one block here so for the simple program it's gonna be enough but in the real case you know in real scenarios we need to write a lot of statements inside this try block at that time there is the possibility of multiple type of exceptions there may be a runtime error exception or some logical error exception or some uh, bad alloc exception like that so at that time what we can do is we can have multiple cat blocks so i can copy this and paste it in here so we're gonna have the multiple cat blocks and each cat block is gonna contain the handler or the code that should be executed when a particular exception occurs so here let's say there is a possibility of some uh, exception you know which is gonna throw some integer object so here we can have a integer variable let's a error so now you know this second cat block is gonna handle the integer type of errors so just to demonstrate this what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save this so here what happens is you know when a particular exception occurs in the try block you know the c++ is gonna check which cat block it has to call so for example in this case you know since it is a character type exception you know the matching cat block is the first one that's why it's gonna call the first catch block so I'm gonna save this just to demonstrate that I'm gonna build and run this and now it says some exception you know which is the string that we have passed here and then let's say we are throwing some number here you know just for the demonstration purpose at this time you know the C++ is gonna check which cat blocks to call at that time it's gonna come to know that okay the second cat blocks is able to receive the integer type of exception or this type of exception that we have here you know that's why it's gonna call the second one so if i build and run this you know we'll get 20 here all right now you know similarly we can have multiple cat blocks for example let's say runtime error and we can pass something and let's say runtime error and uh, you know we can have the cat block for that also so i'm going to copy that and paste it here and uh, here we need to make this cat blocks to be able to receive an object of this runtime class that's why it's going to be runtime error and let's say e and here we're just going to call the method by using the e and it's going to be e dot what yeah all right now i'm going to build and run this and now you guys can see runtime error so by writing the multiple cat blocks we can now make our code to handle different kinds of exception so the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is how to catch all the exceptions under one cat statement so how to do that so in c++ you can catch all the exceptions under one cat block to do that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove all the statements and here we're gonna write three dots that's it now whatever the exception occurs you know this cat block will be called and here i'm just gonna say some exception occurred and now i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this 
you know the C++ is gonna call this cat block for any type of exception for example if I change this one to throw 20 and if I build and run you know the same cat block will be executed and the next thing is all right the next thing is when you have a cat block you know which is able to handle all the exceptions and uh, at that time what you guys can do is you can write it at the end so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the catch block for the integer type now you know if the integer type of exception occurs at that time you know the this catch block will be called and in the end we're gonna write a catch block which is able to receive all type of exceptions so that if any unknown exception occurs here you know that is not gonna crash our program so here you know you know this cat block which can handle all the exceptions will be executed so now I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run this program you know the cat block which is specifically written for this integer type of exception is executed and now let's say we're gonna throw some runtime error exception so here it's gonna be runtime error and we're gonna say something here it doesn't matter so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run now you know what happened here is you know the C++ is gonna check which cat block to call since this first cat block can only handle the integer type of ex exceptions you know it can't handle the runtime error type of exception you know the only one left is the cat block which can handle all the exceptions so it is called suppose if we had any cat block here you know which can handle the runtime error type of exceptions then that block will be called if none matches then if we have specified this one in the end then you know the cat block which can handle all the exceptions is called so this is it guys this is about the multiple cat blocks and also catching all the exceptions in a catch block so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial